Yeah, um, my name is James Westbrook, and I'm a pastor, um, pastor of Realm Church out here in Oakland, California. And uh, one of the primary emphasis, our emphases of our church is the arch. We believe that God, um, He celebrates the arch. Uh, we believe that when God made uh, everything, created everything, uh, it wasn't just good for food, it was good to the eye. And, um, and God cares about aesthetics. And so I've been part of my passions in life. And so I was uh, naturally excited when Flame asked me to uh, depict him, uh, do a representation of him uh, in the style of iconography. What is iconography? Let me just break this down real quick. Uh, it is uh, a style of art that's practiced by uh, some of the older Christian traditions, uh, primarily amongst the Orthodox traditions, whether it's Russian, Ethiopian, Greek Orthodox. Orthodox tradition, uh, uh, they operate or paint in this style, uh, as well as uh, Catholic traditions as well. Uh, icon, it comes from the Greek, icon, image, iconography, write, or to draw. Uh, and so you're writing an image or drawing an image. Jesus Christ is the image of God. We see that in the Gospels, that if you've seen the Father, you've seen, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And so Jesus is the original image um, of, of God in the original icon, uh, one. Two, you'll also see representations not just of Jesus and his passion or Jesus and other uh, narratives in scripture of the gospels. You also see, uh, you might see saints or celebrated figures throughout scripture, throughout church history painted in this style. Uh, and so uh, what is that all about? Well, that goes back to Genesis. And the reality is that we all were made and created in the image of God. And uh, I love this style because what happens is you'll see a foundation in the painting that is very dark um, and it's a brown, a brownish color, which represents the fact that we were all created in the image of God, but also that we were made from the dirt. We were made from the dust, it's from dust that God formed us. Everything else God created ex nihilo, he spoke. Uh, but God grabbed something that was existing that he created and molded us from it. Uh, and so um, that's where the idea of iconography comes. There's, it's an image, uh, not just of Christ, but it's an image of an image bearer. Um, I love being able to paint or where my subjects are people that I know deeply because there's something else that's poured into the piece uh, that makes it that much more uh, personal and powerful. Uh, I know Flame from St. Louis. I was born and raised in St. Louis, and um, uh, Flame and I are from the same part of the city, uh, essentially. I grew up in North St. Louis, Flame grew up in North St. Louis. And um, and so being there, I remember Flame 20 something years ago, uh, being uh, right there in the middle of it all, uh, in, in the hood. I knew that also, yeah, he grew up in some places that uh, I frequented often because I have families there, uh, family members there in the Blue Mire Projects. And so this is a person that I, I seen what he came out of. And, um, and when I was able to meet him as a person, he, he was always flame to me. He was never Marcus, which is telling because who you see on stage uh, is really who he is uh, behind closed doors. He's an honest person, a passionate person. Um, and I remember, I'm like, bro, I said, I recognize you from somewhere, man. Uh, when I first met him. <laughs> and I said, bro, did you do a music video that they showed in schools, man? And he said, yeah. I'm like, wow. You know, I remember n never knowing who this guy was, but uh, I saw him in a music video before I even met him. Um, but uh, our friendship grew and, and like Flame does with those that are close to him, you know, um, he's a great friend, it's deep, but his love and his fire for the Lord, for our, our Lord Christ is what is most captivating about him. His passion, his, um, relentless, um, uh, non-giving up ground passion for God and for our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, man, that's what stirred uh, within me in the same way it stirred in uh, thousands of people across the country and across the world. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the outcome of it uh, for the project. And, and uh, so yeah, it was a fun project overall. All right, there you go. God bless y'all. Thank you.